Oh, good morning everyone. Today's going to be something a little bit different. Um, we're heading out to a kingfish pen and uh, we're going to do some jigging for some kingfish. But I've got uh, Chase here with me and he's never caught a kingfish before, whether it be from a boat or a kayak. So um, today's sort of going to be a bit about a, a say, let's say a, a beginner's introduction to king fishing so we're going to go through uh jigging today okay so we've made it out to our kingy spot now um we're gonna get chase here set up and run through him how to jig and um we'll uh then try and find some fish we're sort of not really showing any fish on a sounder at the moment but um we'll get him set up with a jig He's going to borrow my uh, lighter jigging set, um, and we'll get him set up with a jig and show him how to how to uh, how to jig. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to find the sign, you're going to drop your jig, and um, you're pretty much going to drop it all the way to the bottom. Yep. Uh, depending on if you if the sign's really high, and you see it following the jig down on your sounder, you can. Um, not drop all the way to the bottom but um, yeah just basically you're going to let it out when it hits the bottom or when you get far enough down uh, you just push the drag lever up to strike we'll just check that that's oh, that's plenty of drag yep okay and um, now what you're going to do is you're going to lift and then wind lift wind lift wind so it's just like that. It's going to take you a little bit of getting used to. Yep, I'm sure. Um, and basically you're just flicking up and winding. Flicking, winding. Flick, wind. Flick, wind. Can't even get it right myself. This jig might be too light. So as you get the rhythm of it, yep. you just start going a bit faster. Okay, when you hook up, it's going to go and like tear off. Yep. Um, when you're fighting your fish, you don't lift any higher than that with your rod because yep. your rod's going to be bent right down here okay don't want you to lift any higher than that you just lift up there get a wind get a wind okay if you start lifting way up here yep. you're going to break this rod yeah. and it's not cheap no. um, so um, yeah don't lift up too high yep. I'll hand this over to you um, when you're moving too just clip the wrap the jig into this jig wrap yep. Um, but I'll hand this over to you, get it clipped in. Get yourself clipped in somewhere. So if it goes overboard, just clip it onto your seat there or something. Okay, and just drop it over the side, drop them down, and we'll just have a look and see how you go. The idea is go slowly, you're lifting it too high, yep. you've just got to flick it, it's a flick. You've just got to get that jig moving and wind a bit more faster. It's a rhythm, it's a rhythm thing. It's like playing the drums. Yep. Got to get the rhythm right. Okay. I'm going to get comfortable carrying Yep, sure. yep, there's no panic, you know, you've got all day to learn this and you will fish. learn it. It's his first fish, he's been jigging maybe 15 minutes now, and he's into it. What do you reckon? Yeah, fucking good. <laughs> this is a big one. Couldn't tell you. First kayak kingfish, first ever kingfish, and uh, he's into it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, well it's a legal fish, it's not It's not a very big fish, um, but he's legal. Yep, first legal kingy. First legal kingy, awesome. Oh, this side, this side, let him go this side. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Well, good morning everyone. Yesterday was a bit of a stuff up. We went out. We paddled for a bit more k's and k's. And uh, Chase did manage to get his first couple of kingfish jigging, but um, 
the kingies just weren't really at the spot and um, after putting his first kingfish back which would have been well legal we didn't get another legal one for him so um, it was a bit of a stuff up so we're going to a spot that's known to perform so we're going to see what happens okay, out so here. we've made it out here now we're both hooked up I've just got my one to the kayak he's a probably a 10 kilo sort of a fish 9 or 10 kilo oh nice little fish and uh oh he's also pretty feisty and uh chase is still trying to grab get his one up that's what we came for oh a nice healthy kingy he's in good shape too by the look of him not very big in fact he's probably smaller than i thought he's probably only eight kilos but he fought hard he's in good shape and he deserves to live so we're going to put him back Woo! yeah now you rod holder drag him into your lap grab the jig what they do is they'll use the jig as a bit of a missile and they'll shake their head around so the best place the thing to do to grab um, is the jig straight away it acts like a good handle and it stops them shaking their head around and smashing the jig into you because yep. getting the jig smashed into you at a, pay, at a rate of knots kind of hurts oh look at that yeah okay let her go oh yeah mean first king of the day we're going to get more we're going to do better today than what we did yesterday <laughs> Chase has really got that jigging action down now. Oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's the one! Look at it, Ben! Oh, mean, bro! Try and keep your rod so it's not touching the side of the kayak, but don't go too far out. Yep. That's it. Yeah, boy, look at this. He's going to get a sleigh ride here, I think. Oh. Oh, look at it. look at him taking off that king he's towing him that might be quite a good fish chase leader drag off in the holder look at that perfect that way if he has to get let go of the leader the uh kingfish can run without snapping the rod or anything oh he's not that big i thought he was going to be a big boy hard fighter just a hard fighter yeah all right we've come we've come back in off the kingy spot um, and uh, Chase managed to score a nice kingy to take home it's a really nice fish we'll check a photo of it up but um, we had a bit of a mishap uh, what happened Chase uh, well it the fish we went to go chuck the uh, fish into the chili bin got to a certain point where my balance was off and managed to tip the whole kayak over oh that was um pretty interesting wasn't it yeah no it was definitely an eye opener wasn't really prepared for it happened fast didn't it yeah no it didn't take long at all so um talk us through what you did then once the kayak was over i was in panic mode uh trying to collect all, all my gear luckily managed to grab my phone and keys and the kingy that I lost that was floating about but um yeah nah you, you just talk talk me through what I should be doing and after a couple of attempts of trying to flip the kayak Kerry just said dive under and flip and twist pretty much which I managed to do flip that out uh, managed to jump back on the kayak so um, what's the damage? Oh, I lost lost a soft baiting rod, rod and reel. Uh, my battery for the fish finder. And yeah, no, that's about it. I think you're you're pretty lucky uh, not to lose a bit more gear. What what lessons do you think you've learned? Uh, definitely rod leashes, big big thing to have, pay to have. Um, 
yeah, having everything tied down, um, making sure that everything's yeah, sealed, having your keys and your phone in a bag. I'll definitely be making sure I have that stuff next time I go on. Yeah, sweet. And I guess that's um, something that that happens to most kayakers at some point in their life. And yep. I, I, I actually think if you haven't fallen out of your kayak, you haven't really kayaked. Um, so uh, a little bit of a painful lesson in, the, in terms of the fact that you lost a soft bait reel. But um, take it as a lesson. And um, now you know that you do need that gear and that it is useful yeah. um, super stoked that you actually had a paddle leash and um, super stoked that you had my rod that you would be were borrowing leashed so um, yeah. you know not too bad and um, don't feel too bad about it you know no. I, I guarantee you that every every kayak fisherman who's done a bit of kayak fishing has done it at some point or another yep yeah. no no doubt I'm just glad it, you know yeah over and done with I'm kind of prepared for the next time it happens awesome Hopefully. awesome yeah nah. oh good on you man you got a good attitude <laughs>